There is a hidden history that's been deliberately obfuscated from the peoples of the world, and that's why I am on the trail. The Genesis 6 narrative states that the Nephilim are on the earth in those days and also afterwards. If that's true, can we find evidence that corroborates this? I'm L.A. Marzulli. Join me as we go on the trail of a Nephilim. Thanks so much for watching. This is a very special report. This came across my desk the other day. I'll be sharing this with you in just a moment. But first, a word from our trusted sponsor, Noble Gold. Noble Gold Investments is pleased to let you know that gold was the best investment class for 2022. Real estate, crypto, stocks, and bonds, gold outperformed them all in 2022. Folks, Noble Gold Investments helped thousands of clients buy real physical gold. I know because Peggy and I have it right here. According to long-term trends, gold outperformed the S&P 500, Dow, and Bitcoin in 2022. Had you invested in the S&P 500 a year ago, you'd be down about 20%. If you invested in Bitcoin a year ago, you'd be down 65%. If you invested in the Dow a year ago, you'd be down almost 10%. Yes, gold has outperformed them all in 2022, and silver was not that far behind. Folks, what are you waiting for? Join the thousands of others by opening a gold IRA or silver IRA with Noble Gold Investments. Invest with Noble Gold Investments before the end of the month, and you'll bag a free one quarter ounce American Gold Eagle coin with every qualified IRA of $50,000 or more. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments and their thousands of five-star reviews. Folks, give them a call, 877-646-5347. Once again, that's 877-646-5347. And our own special link is right in the text box below this video. Check them out, folks. So uh, this is, let's have John Adam, our, our producer here, put up game, uh, game one. Uh, this is from a game trail camera. It's in an isolated area somewhere in the wilds of Minnesota. Uh, these people have got about two and a half acres on their property. And we'll get into this. Um, I've never seen anything quite like it. I think it's extremely interesting. So this is what, this is the, during the daytime. Here's the game trail. You can see behind it, um, there's like a, a stove. The stove is blowing smoke out of it. And nothing unusual about that. So this is what and these folks will remain anonymous. Dear Mr. Marzulli, first of all, thank you for everything you are doing to educate people on the Bible's answer to the supernatural events that are occurring. And thank you for providing a platform for others to share their experiences. On October 4th, my husband and I began hosting a class in our home addressing the Bible's answer to the alien narrative. A few days later, this entity showed up on our trail our game trail camera. I believe it appeared to intimidate us. What do you think? The images were taken within 10 seconds of each other. God bless you. I am praying for you. We'll leave them anonymous. They don't wish to be known. So this is game trail three. Take a look at that. That's game three. And we can see directly over the stove, there's this flash of light. Something appears like it's materializing. Now, let's, let's go to the natural explanation first. Um, a lens flare? I don't think so. Look at the, if you go to Game Trail 4, John Adam, you can see there are, there are figures standing next to um, the stove. And look at the, look, go back to Game Trail 3, and there's that burst of light, and next to it we see one of the figures which has been completely illuminated. Now this is where it gets, and by the way, you can look at the temperature up on top, it's 33 degrees. So now let's go to Game Trail 5, and this is where it gets incredibly interesting. We see something that is swirling, that um, the image is, is all over the map. It's almost like something, now I, granted, I'm, this is complete conjecture on my part, but it's lo it looks to me 
as if something is about is is coming through, is about to manifest here. And you get this image, it's it's swirling, it's distorted. There's there's light images all the way around it. And this is where it goes off the rails, in my opinion. And go to game trail number six. And here we have, it's 46 degrees in this area. Here we've got this figure directly in front of the game trail. Take a look at it. Look at it very closely. Um, you can see that it's looking, first of all, it's looking directly at the game trail. It's not looking, it's not being caught unawares. It knows exactly where it's manifesting. And this, of course, happened within 10 seconds of the game trail camera. Look at the face. Look at the way it's dressed. You can see it's, it's wearing some sort of a low-cut blouse, shirt, tunic. I don't know what it is. Um, I asked the woman uh, who property this was, and I said, describe this outfit. And she says, these are called bell sleeves. I didn't know that. But look at, look at around the shoulder, the way this thing puffs out here, low cut around the neck. And it's very androgynous looking. When I'm looking at this, I don't know whether it's male or female. It's very androgynous looking. But it's looking directly at the camera. That's game trail number six. Let's go to game trail number seven. Um, and here we've got a close-up of the face. And now I get it. There is some distortion here because of the camera. I'm blowing it up but the eyes aren't right. Take a look at the eyes. They are much, um, they're like slits and they're, they're long and narrow. Check where the ear is, how it's pointed. Again, the entity is looking directly at the camera. Um, the, you know, the head is turned, it's extremely deliberate. And then finally we go to um, game trail camera number eight. And we've got a big close up on the face and there you can see that the eyes and, and the ear is pointed. Um, we see the eyes are just these like narrow slits. They're, they don't look human to me. Maybe I'm reading into it. If any of you want to comment on this, you know, please shoot me an email or go to the comment section um, in, in this video. Um, I think what we are looking at, in my opinion, is a tall white. Now that's completely conjecture. I've never seen anything like this before. I've seen other things... Um, other pictures on YouTube, but they can't usually be vetted. This, on the other hand, can be vetted. We, we've got the game, uh, the game trail cameras. I mean, this is it. This is directly right from um, those, those bursts every 10 seconds. Something is there manifesting right in front of that camera and only a few feet away from the camera, and it's looking directly at the camera. Pointed ears, the eyes are long and narrow this way. It's very androgynous looking. It's 46 degrees. Okay, that's not that cold. But to be wearing what this entity is wearing, I find that really bizarre. Love to get your thoughts on it. Um, I'm calling it a tall white. Not that I've ever seen a tall white, but by descriptions from people that apparently have encountered these entities, this is what I think we might be looking at. That's complete conjecture. Whatever this is, is bizarre. And as usual, we will now pray for a hedge of protection around all of you that are watching this video. Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus and we pray for protection, a ring of protection, a hedge of protection around each person that's watching this. No foul and unclean thing will enter into their homes or their minds or their dream states. We pray specifically for protection. Folks, the reason why I'm doing this is we've had feedback from people who watch this show. And then at night, they have trouble sleeping. So we're taking care of that. And we suggest that you pray up also. By the way, uh, number four and five of our UFO film series, um, they're available. We're doing a pre-sale on number five, which is on crop circles. Number four is up on our streaming site, streaming.lamarzuli.net. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be reading um, a an article that I wrote for our news magazine, Politics, Prophecy, and a Supernatural Report. I think you'll find that interesting. It's about why we're getting this disclosure now. The old guard has passed away. Anyway, folks, I'd love to get your feedback on this entity, what you think it is. Please leave it in the comment section below this YouTube, and I will be answering um, those comments. Rather than clog up my email box, I'll just go right to the comment section. I'd love to get your feedback on it. I think it's a tall white. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please hit it below. We'll see you tomorrow with a very special UFO update. Thanks for watching.